This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. Multiple law enforcement agencies and the U.S. Coast Guard were credited for rescuing two boys and a deputy after a hike in the woods went wrong in Liberty County Sunday. It all started when Johnny Whitehead and Aaron Lloyd, both 12 years old, decided to go on a hiking adventure in a wooded area near their home. The boys were walking in an area 10 miles south of Dayton, just off of Farm to Market 1409 and County Road 417, which is part of the mass of Trinity River Wildlife Refuge, according to officials. Although Johnny and Aaron set flags out to mark their way in the heavily forested area, they got lost after about an hour and could not find their way out. The two then placed a call to 911 for help. Liberty County Sheriff's Office dispatched units to the area to start a search just after 4 p.m. When units arrived to the scene, deputies fanned out and attempted to make contact with the lost children. After getting no response, two deputies decided to go into the woods to find them. The deputies finally located the boys after some time, but both the kids and the deputies were exhausted after being out in the woods during a heavy rainfall. From a report by KVUE.com, the Texas Forest Service says wildfires that began more than two weeks ago in Bastrop County have been 95% contained. Officials say this weekend rain and cooler temperatures contributed to the improved firefighting conditions in the area about 25 miles east of Austin. Wildfires that broke out Labor Day weekend blackened more than 34,000 acres and forced thousands of residents to evacuate. Hundreds of homes were destroyed in fires blamed for two deaths. Actor Jack Black, who last year filmed a movie in Bastrop, returned Sunday to tour the wildfire-damaged community and visit with some families who lost their homes. Black was joined by director Richard Linklater, who lives in Austin but whose house in Bastrop was destroyed. Now some bad news. Texas shed 1,300 jobs in August, ending 10 months of gains. The Texas economy hit the brakes in August as employers cut payroll for the first time in nearly a year and the unemployment rate rose again. Data released last Friday by the Texas Workforce Commission showed job creation went into reverse last month with a 1,300 job decline. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.